All right, so question is, um, as we can see, we have this question here. And this question is um, F. So we have F there, which is um, uh, a partial fraction. And uh, we've been told to express this into its partial fractions. So the question is 10X plus 93. And it has repeating factors because we have x plus 10 they are repeating so when this uh um when you have repeating factors remember what i said when you have anything that has repeating factors the first term is going to be a over the same factor that you have so the factor that you have is x plus 10 then the second factor that we have is b over uh the same factor now the power increased by one so here the the power is what is one so we when we increase one there, it means that we're going to have a square. So we have x plus 10 there to the power what? 2. So what we do here, the next step is to find the common denominator. So how do you find the common denominator? The common denominator, I said, you simply just get what you have there. So we have 10x plus 93. Yeah, plus 93. And then everything over, we have x plus 10 raised to the power two. And then the common denominator this side will simply just be what we have there. So we have x plus 10 there as the common denominator. So this and that is going to cancel, or even before we do that, sorry. Before we do that, let us first find what is supposed to be on top. So when we divide this into that, we're going to remain with uh, this one here because um, we have two of them here multiplying themselves because of this power two. So when we divide this into that, we remain with one here, which is this same one here. We multiply it with A, we're going to have A open brackets. Then we have X plus 10. Then we say plus B open brackets. This into this expression, the answer will be one. One times b, it will still be what? One. So this expression and that expression will cancel. So just remain with 10x plus 93 being equal to what? Uh, we have a open brackets, x plus 10, then plus b. This is what we have. So after doing that, we can now start finding the values of A and B. So to find the values of A and B, we can find any number that we can put there to give us, uh, to make this part a zero. So what is that number? So if you want to make this part a zero, you have to put negative 10 there. So where did I get that negative 10? You simply just equate the same X plus 10 there to zero. Then you make X the subject, so meaning our value of x becomes what? Negative 10. So this is what I'm going to replace on all these expressions. That, I mean, on uh, on all these values of x, I mean, on all the x values there. So we have 10 there, open brackets, we're putting what? Negative 10. Then we have plus 93 being equal to, we have a open brackets. While this x there, I'm putting negative uh, 10. Then we close the brackets. Oh, sorry. We have to add that to... 10. So we have plus 10. Then we have another plus B this side. So after doing that, the next thing that you need to do there is you multiply this 10 and negative 10 will give us what? Negative 100. So we have negative 100 plus 93 being equal to what? Negative 10 and 10, when you add them, you get a 0. 0 times A there, the answer will still be 0. So you just remain with plus B this side, which is just positive B. And when you add negative 193, you get a 7. So the value of B is simply just 7. And then to get the value of A, to get the value of A, we we'll simply just compare the coefficients. You can either get the constants or the coefficients. Yeah, so if I say I get the coefficients, okay, you have a question? Okay, so. Yeah, I'm talking of the value of B is negative seven. Huh? Oh, it's negative seven. All right, thank you very much for that correction. Okay, so 
So what you have to do here is to compare the terms this side. So if I get the term this side, which has um, X, so this side, I'm going to get 10 X. Then on the other side, the only term that has X is what? A times X there. So if I multiply A times X, I'm going to have A X. So if I divide on both sides with X, that X and that X will cancel. So I'm just going to remain with 10 is equal to A, meaning the value of A is what? 10. So what is A there, we can replace back with what? With 10. And then what is B there, we can replace the value of B, which is um, negative seven. So we put negative seven there. So this is the, these are the partial fractions that uh, we have resolved. So I've resolved this into its partial fractions. So we have this fraction into its partial fractions. So that is exactly what you do. So this is a very important um, topic because uh, there's a part on calculus where you need to apply all these things. I'm sure if I'm going to be the one helping you to solve calculus questions, I will still have to get back to partial fractions just to uh, remind you about what you are supposed to do. Yeah, I'll remind you on partial fractions. If I will not manage to do that, then I'll just send you the, the same videos that we have uh, done that we're going to be doing under partial fractions. And then you revise, then we can, can we, we come and continue with what integration. So this is a very important topic yeah, when it comes to integration. Because there are some questions where they will ask you maybe to say integrate this same expression there or integrate this same expression or that expression. So these expressions, you can't integrate them the way they are. You first have to resolve them into their um, respective partial fractions. So once you resolve it into the partial fractions, then you begin to integrate. You integrate this, you also integrate that. So integrating this part is simple. The answer is just 10 lean, the absolute value of X plus 10. So come and learn all these things. You, integ you also integrate that on its own. Yeah, so these things are very simple. Trust me, what you just need to do is to understand them. Don't master it, just understand how to do them. All right, so looking at the time, this is already 20 hours and I'm supposed to start teaching the second years. So, I'll see if I'll, I'll see what I'll do if I can just make tutorial videos to solve these others, or maybe pr probably in the same se in the next session that we're going to have, we may have um, or, or we, we we may come and look at these remaining ones. Okay. So see you in the next lesson that we're going to have. Shalom, shalom.